you for more on the GOP debate. Brandy. Well, Cher, we are down to the final five, and it was clear tonight the candidates used this debate to try and take down the front runner, Mitt Romney. And he spent most of the night on defense. Mitt, we need for you to release your income tax so the people of this country can see how you made your money. In the first 10 minutes of the GOP debate in South Carolina, the focus was on Mitt Romney's money. As Republicans, we cannot fire our nominee in September. We need to know now. If I become our nominee, I'm, uh, and what's happened in history is people have released them in about April of the coming year, and that's probably what I do. Romney's record also came under fire. Governor Romney, uh, as governor, raised taxes, and Massachusetts was 47th in job creation. We were fortunate to have an unemployment rate by the time I left office of 4.7 percent. Sounds pretty good today. With two wins under his belt, the latest insider advantage poll does show Romney leading the pack in South Carolina, nine points ahead of Newt Gingrich. In fifth place, John Huntsman called it quits. Before the debate, he handed out his endorsement. I believe that candidate is Governor Mitt Romney. The other big topic tonight was the growing number of attack ads. There was one ad that uh, we used against Senator Santorum, and uh, I was only, I only had one problem, is I couldn't get all the things in I wanted to say in one minute. <laughs> Rick Santorum took issue with a Romney super PAC for releasing an ad that claims he supports voting from prison. I voted to allow, to allow them to have their voting rights back once they completed their sentence. Governor, you I agree want with 30 that? seconds to yeah. respond. Yeah, I, I don't think people who have committed violent crimes should be allowed to vote again. Well, South Carolina voters hit the polls on Saturday. And keep in mind, since 1980, the Republican who has won South Carolina has gone on to win the Republican nomination for president. After that, it is on to Florida. And I have a feeling we'll see the pack dwindle out a little you bit bet. more. Mm -hmm. Brandy, thank you. A record 84%.